Is it safe to put a child in a child seat in a front passenger seat? And if you do, should you switch the passenger side airbag off or leave it on? Today, we will be asking this question with five different vehicles. A family car from the 90s, a semi-modern family car, a 20-year-old performance dad car, and a pretty much brand new performance dad car. Because incredibly, the answer is different for each of these vehicles. If you carry children in your car, intend on carrying children in your car in the future, this could be the most important video that you watch on YouTube today. I certainly learned a hell of a lot making this video. Oh, and make sure you stick around to when we look at this, my current dad car, my Maserati Grand Sport, because whilst filming this video, we discovered something so shocking that we had to ask Maserati themselves and it took them two months to give us a definitive answer. I feel like I came this close to triggering a factory recall on this nearly 20 year old Maserati model. But look, all of this is so confusing. And that is why today we have called in a child seat specialist. To answer this question today, I'm joined by Hayley from Bijou Baby. So my first question to you is, can you put a child seat on a front passenger seat? Is it safe to do so? Uh, the short answer is, Maybe. <laughs> Maybe, yeah. <laughs> Maybe, absolutely. It's very much vehicle specific um, and we need to basically delve into the, the vehicle manual and find out what it says in there. Okay, yeah, so it is a grey area and it's vehicle specific, depends what car it is. So fortunately, because I've got an automotive YouTube channel, I've always got access <laughs> to loads of different cars. Okay, so the first car that we're using as an example here is a 2008 Audi S5, but I'm sure this would be the same for the A5 as well of this generation. But the interesting thing about this car is it does actually have, not many cars do, this has Isofix on the front passenger seat. Would you agree that not many cars have that? Yeah, yeah. It, I mean, more and more newer cars are getting it, but yeah, it's quite rare to come across. What's the first thing you do then when you're looking to potentially put a child seat in this car? Um, so the first place to start is the vehicle manual. Usually you'll find it in your glove box. Um, we've had a look at the manual for this vehicle already. And so um, within that, it will tell you, can you put any kind of child seat in the front passenger seat? Obviously, we've got Isofix, so we can be fairly confident that it's going to allow something to go in the front of this one. Yeah. Um, it will also usually tell you, can it be forward facing? Can it be rear facing? Can it do both? It will also then tell you the rules on the airbags and the position of the vehicle seat. Yeah, okay, so airbags, so that's, that's another thing as well. So in this car, you can switch off the passenger side airbag it's in the glove box there, but quite often it's sort of positioned here on the dash when you open the door as well, isn't it? But I think it's worth making this point. It might seem like an obvious one, but you would never put a rear facing child seat in front of an active airbag ever, would Absolutely, you? Absolutely, yeah, um, under no circumstances. Yeah, again, it sounds obvious, but the reason being, you can imagine that there was a, a child seat here rear facing in close proximity to that airbag. And if it went off, obviously it would, I mean, it'd be catastrophic, wouldn't it? Um, so this car says that it is okay to put both rear-facing and front-facing child seats in the front passenger seat. Yes, yeah. um, it prefers for children to be in the rear, as most vehicles uh, do. But in the event that you do need to have a child in the front seat, you can have forward or rear-facing. I mean, that's always just been a general rule of thumb for me. That I mean, I, I, I don't know, am I right in assuming that if there is space to put a child seat in the back, then it's preferable to put it in the back, generally speaking. Would yeah, you say that's a speaking, good general yeah, rule of thumb? For rear facing, not so much. Um, quite comfortable having a rear facing child in a, a front passenger seat, um, but certainly for forward facing high back boosters, um, if there's space in the, the back, then that would be preferable. So obviously we know about if there's a rear facing, the general rule of thumb, we would always switch the passenger side airbag off, but how about if it was a front facing one though? And say, you know, you can move the seat back and there was plenty of space away from the airbag would you switch the airbag off in this car even with a front facing child seat? The, the manual will always tell you in this vehicle, the manual specifies for the airbag to be turned off no matter what. Um, so the seat as far back as it can go, airbag switched off. That will be vehicle specific. So it's always important to check what the manual says. And that will be based on the testing that's been done with the airbag and the vehicle manufacturer knowing exactly how that's going to perform. Um, in most cases, it will always tell you that the seat will need to be as far back as it can go. Yeah. And that's purely based on the fact that um, with the airbag on, an airbag could cause significant injury. 
um, to a child and so can a dash. So having them as far back as they can get. But it really is different with every single car. So what about a family car from the 90s? This Mark III Golf VR6 has a passenger side airbag, but it does not have a deactivation switch. The manual states that rear facing child seats, as you would expect, have to therefore be put in the rear seats. However, front facing child seats can be put on the front passenger seat if the front passenger seat is moved all the way back. But what about a modern family car, an SUV? Well, this third generation X5, reading the manual, BMW encourages that you put child seats in the rear seats. However, it does have a front passenger deactivation switch and therefore states that you can put both front facing and rear facing child seats on the front passenger seat. But in both instances, you need to deactivate the passenger airbag. And here we have a modern two plus two performance car, the Mustang Mach 1. And while the Mustang has no physical airbag deactivation switch, it has a weight activated one. So the seat sensor itself decides whether it's an adult occupant or a child that is sat on the passenger seat. And reading the manual, it says that both rear facing and front facing child seats can be used on the front passenger. We identified something which is a potential issue with this type of airbag deactivation didn't we? Is it yeah. worth us showing that? Yeah, we, yeah, absolutely, yeah. So but if we consider this seat itself, this has a 36 kilogram weight limit. So the seat plus a 36 kilogram child would be about the same weight as I am. And obviously if I sit on the seat, the airbag activates. So we would have to be very careful about the weight, the combined weight of the child and the seat and have to keep a, a close eye to make sure that the airbag isn't activating. So what about my car? I said at the start of this video that we discovered something very shocking about this car and shocking it is. So at time of recording, my dad car is this wonderful Maserati Grand Sport, which has a physical airbag deactivation switch on the passenger side there. Which is why when we checked this car's manual, we were so shocked and alarmed to read that it says in here, no child seat of any kind can be fitted on the front passenger seat. I literally bought this car because I wanted to be able to take all of my children out in it. And according to the manual, I can't do that, which obviously makes no sense at all. So that's why I had to email Maserati and ask them for clarification. And I must just say that Maserati were excellent throughout, fantastic customer service, very responsive. But after a few emails back and forth and after a few weeks, I sent them an email saying, look, come on guys, I just need clarification. Obviously, if I deactivate the airbag on the passenger side, use an appropriate child seat and follow the manufacturer's instructions, just need the green light that it's okay. Because if this is not the case, please explain why, as it may mean that you need to recall any Grand Sport that has an airbag deactivation switch. But finally, after about eight weeks, I got the confirmation that I needed. If I switch off the passenger side airbag, I can put a child seat on the front passenger side. I just think that this is fascinating because I mean, not many people bought Maserati Grand Sports anyway when they were new. And then of the people who did buy them, there's probably only a small proportion who bought one to use with their children. It might be that I was actually the first person in 20 years to notice this huge error in the manual for Grand Sports. I will put links in the description below to every single child seat that was featured in this video. And if you've got any additional questions about Swedish plus tested child seats, honestly, reach out to Hayley at Bijou Baby and she'll be more than happy to help. So even though I've got four children, I'm absolutely obsessed with cars. I've got an automotive YouTube channel. I'm constantly reviewing loads of different cars, putting child seats in different cars. I find all of this still really confusing, um, which is why I really appreciate Hayley coming in today from Bijou Baby. And in fact, I want to talk about what it is that you do because we've met up quite a lot recently and it's yeah. wonderful the service that you do here. So you're based in Hampshire yeah. and you come out to people's homes like you have done today, bring a selection of child seats and take a look at each individual car, go through the manual and try out different child seats in the cars. Yeah, absolutely. It, it's not one size fits all in terms of um, what seat is right for the child, what seat is right for the vehicle. Um, so it's a case of having a look at each family's situation and figuring out what's going to work best for them. Yeah, no, absolutely. Because I mean, you could just go online and just pick out a child seat, which looks good and, and then find an actual fact that it's doesn't really work with the car that you've got and in the use case that you want it for as well. So yeah. yeah, no, I think what you do is fantastic. So I'll put a link to your website below. And so in summary then, 
what should be like the, the key points that people can take away from this if they ever in the future have a need to put a child seat in a front passenger seat? What should they be checking? Vehicle manual. Always start with the vehicle manual. Um, what does it allow? Can you put anything in the front? Um, can it be rear facing, forward facing and what does it say about the airbags and the seat position? And yeah. even if you don't have the vehicle manual, you should be able to Google it, right? You should be able to put the, yeah. the make model in and the, the manual should be available online. Absolutely. Excellent. So I asked the question at the start of this video, is it safe to put a child in a child seat in a front passenger seat? So if we check the manual, we're using an appropriate child seat, doing what we need to, is it safe to put a child in a front passenger seat. Assuming that we're going by the vehicle manual, uh, yeah. I hope you found this video helpful. And if you did, share it with another parent and make sure you subscribe to the Dad Cars channel because I've got more child seat content coming soon. Thank you, bye-bye.